For decades, the skies above us have been a silent battleground, a high-stakes chess match played out at supersonic speeds. And for just as long, one piece on the American side of the board has been the undisputed queen, the AIM-120 AMRAAM, the advanced medium-range air-to-air missile. It has been the backbone of Western air superiority, a symbol of technological dominance. But in the relentless march of military innovation, even queens can be challenged. Today, that challenge is not just theoretical. It is a very real, very long-range threat emerging from the East. Imagine a fighter pilot, thousands of feet above the Earth, relying on their missile to be their eyes, their reach, their ultimate defense. For years, the AMRAAM delivered. It was revolutionary, allowing pilots to engage targets beyond visual range, a true game-changer. But the world does not stand still. Adversaries, particularly China, have been developing their own long-range air-to-air missiles, most notably the PL-15. This missile, with its reported extreme range and advanced capabilities, began to cast a long shadow over the AMRAAM's once unquestioned supremacy. It created what many in the defense community started calling a missile gap, a critical vulnerability that could shift the balance of power in the air. This was not just about who could shoot first, it was about who could shoot further. If an adversary could launch a missile at your aircraft from a distance where your own missiles could not reach them, the entire paradigm of air combat would be flipped on its head. Our most advanced stealth fighters, the F-22 Raptors and F-35 Lightnings, designed for first look, first shot advantages, would suddenly find themselves at a disadvantage. Their internal weapons bays, crucial for maintaining stealth, imposed a physical limit on the size and by extension, the range of the missiles they could carry. The AMRAAM, while effective, simply was not long enough to counter this new, distant threat. The urgency was palpable. The United States Air Force and Navy knew they needed a response, and they needed it fast. This was not a project that could languish in decades of research and development. It required a rapid, focused effort to leapfrog the emerging threat. And so, shrouded in a veil of secrecy, so thick that even its existence was initially a whisper, the AIM-260 Joint Advanced Tactical Missile, or JATN, was born. JATN is not just an incremental upgrade, it is a fundamental reimagining of the air-to-air -air missile. While specific details remain highly classified, the core objective is clear, to outrange and outmaneuver any current or projected adversary missile, particularly the PL-15. This means pushing the boundaries of missile design, propulsion, and guidance systems. Think of it as a technological arms race, where every millimeter of internal space, every ounce of fuel, and every line of code is optimized for one purpose, dominance in the beyond visual range arena. One of the most significant challenges in developing JATN was the physical constraint imposed by stealth aircraft. The F-22 and F-35 are designed to carry their weapons internally to maintain their low observable profiles. This means the new missile could not simply be longer than the AMRAAM. It had to achieve its extended range within roughly the same physical footprint. This is where advanced propulsion technologies come into play, likely involving more efficient rocket motors, perhaps even dual pulse motors for a second burst of speed, or potentially ramjet technology, allowing for sustained high speeds over greater distances without a significant increase in size. The ability to maintain high kinetic energy throughout its flight envelope is paramount for defeating agile targets at extreme ranges. Beyond sheer range, JATN is expected to incorporate a suite of advanced features that make it incredibly difficult to defeat. This includes a highly sophisticated multi-mode seeker, capable of precisely tracking targets in complex electronic warfare environments, resisting even advanced jamming techniques and adapting to evasive maneuvers. Imagine a missile that is not just flying towards a target, but actively thinking, processing vast amounts of data, and intelligently adjusting its flight path in real time to ensure a hit. This level of autonomy and intelligence is crucial in an era where adversaries are also developing advanced countermeasures. Furthermore, JATM is designed to be a truly networked weapon. In modern air combat, Individual platforms do not operate in isolation. 
Data links allow aircraft, ground stations, and even other missiles to seamlessly share targeting information, update trajectories, and provide mid-course guidance. JATM is expected to leverage these capabilities to an unprecedented degree, potentially receiving dynamic targeting updates from multiple sources, making it even more lethal and adaptable in a dynamic battle space. This means a pilot might launch a JATM, and then another aircraft or even an unmanned aerial vehicle could provide updated targeting data, guiding the missile to a moving target that has changed course. The development timeline for JATM has been remarkably aggressive, a clear testament to the urgency of the perceived threat. Unlike many defense programs that stretch over decades, JATM moved from concept to testing at an accelerated pace. Lockheed Martin and Raytheon, two giants in the defense industry, were reportedly involved in the competition to develop this critical asset. This rapid prototyping and development approach reflects a new philosophy in military acquisition, prioritizing speed and adaptability to counter rapidly evolving threats. It is a significant departure from the traditional, often slow, bureaucratic processes that have plagued defense programs in the past. The implications of JATM are profound. For American and Allied Air Forces, it means restoring a critical qualitative edge in air-to-air -air combat. It ensures that our pilots can engage and defeat threats from a safe distance, maintaining air superiority and protecting valuable assets. This is not just about winning dogfights. It is fundamentally about deterrence. The very existence of a missile like JATM sends a clear and powerful message to potential adversaries. Any attempt to challenge air dominance will be met with overwhelming force and superior technology. For pilots, JATM represents a significant boost in confidence and capability. Knowing they possess the longest range, most capable air-to-air -air missile in the world allows them to operate with greater tactical flexibility and aggression. It changes the calculus of engagement, forcing adversaries to reconsider their approach and potentially giving our forces the initiative in any aerial confrontation. It is about ensuring that when the stakes are highest, our pilots have the best possible tools at their disposal. The introduction of JATM also signifies a broader trend in military technology, the continuous, high-stakes arms race in the skies. As one side develops a new capability, the other immediately begins working on a countermeasure, or an even more advanced system. JATM is a direct and potent response to the PL-15, but it is also a statement that the United States intends to maintain its technological lead in air warfare, no matter the cost or complexity. This relentless pursuit of superiority drives innovation, pushing the boundaries of what is possible in aerospace engineering and defense technology. While JATM's full capabilities will likely remain classified for the foreseeable future, its very existence underscores a fundamental truth about modern warfare. The future is fought not just with courage and skill, but with the most advanced technology available. The AIM-260 JATM is more than just a missile. It is a strategic imperative, a silent guardian, designed to ensure that when the time comes, our forces can reach out and touch the future of air combat on our terms. It is a testament to the constant evolution of aerial warfare, where the race for the longest reach and the smartest weapon never truly ends.